unbelievable. So sad. Somebody's dreams going up in smoke. The words of this shocked bystander seem to tell the story. A yacht worth many millions of pounds, carrying an estimated 8,000 litres of fuel, burning, smoking and finally sinking into Torquay Harbour. The emergency services did their best to contain the fire and stop it spreading. This morning, the cleanup operation began and people spoke about what they witnessed of the drama. We live over the hill from the um, harbour and my son spotted this huge plume of black smoke rising into the sky. So we dashed down to the harbour to see what was happening and there it was, the yacht was on fire and there was lots of people about watching it, you know, so. As we were stood there, as time went on, the police were gradually moving everybody further and further back because they were conscious of possible explosions or the toxic fumes coming from the uh, smoke. It was quite a sight. Just the sheer size of the fire was unbelievable. This afternoon, the police and fire service said the cause of the blaze is still being investigated. The pier is closed to the public and is likely to stay that way for some time, possibly impacting on next weekend's air show. It's been more than 24 hours now since the fire broke out here in the harbour and there are two things you notice when you arrive down here. The first thing is the smell, that stench of black acrid smoke is still in the air. And the second thing is that everybody is talking about this. I've heard people saying they've had relatives saying they've seen it on the news as far away as Australia. It was such a spectacular sight that this story seems to have reached people right across the world. In a statement, the Environment Agency said our officers are providing assistance to the Harbour Master Authority to contain the oil and fuel within the booms that have been set up in the marina. We will be providing further advice in the coming days on waste management as part of efforts to recover the sunken yacht. Sam Blackledge, ITV News, Torquay.